Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Um, sorry for the annoying intro. I just hate being fake when I'm like, Hi guys, welcome back! Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup. And you're gonna watch. And you're gonna like it. I'm just gonna be- I have some new things I wanna try out. Mm. <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood, I don't know why. I didn't prime myself before I hit record. Essentially, this is what I'm mostly doing this video for. I recently purchased this Charlotte Tilbury palette. It is, I believe, limited edition. It's the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. This whole Pillow Talk business started off with a lip liner and it's grown into a whole Pillow Talk collection. I'm a sucker for it because I love the Pillow Talk liner. I got the lipstick, I got the gloss, and now I got the eyeshadow. I have some other thing too, but I forget. Anyway, look at this palette. I'm really a sucker for eyeshadow palettes too. I have so many of them, and I really didn't need this, but I really loved these colors. I felt like there were so many different fun looks in here. Um, so I thought I'd play around, do a little bit of my makeup. Um, I have like hives right now, I don't know why. But we're just gonna ignore that and zoom on in. I'm gonna use um, a different foundation than I normally use. I normally use the Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm gonna use this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I don't know if this is the color for me anymore, but we're gonna use it anyway. Um, and I'm gonna apply it using this brush. This is new to me. This is a new thing I've been doing. This is by It Cosmetics. It's the Complexion Perfection Brush. Um, and I've really liked it. I don't normally like um, foundation brushes because it just like looks streaky in my opinion. What's going on? But this one doesn't. This one does a good job. Um, I'm mostly excited because I got my brows microbladed two weeks ago and I wasn't allowed to put anything around my eyebrows or on my eyebrows for two weeks and now I'm allowed so so I haven't like put boy brow on them or anything and I'm excited. Yeah, I haven't used this foundation in a long time but I know it's like a cult favorite. I'm so washed out right now because of the... it's very sunny today. I don't think I like it better than my Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted to see if I still liked it. Because I really used to love this. Okay, this is a concealer I've been really loving lately. This is by Makeup Forever. Uh, the Full Cover Concealer. It's I'm in the shade 04. You really don't need a lot. Um, I just take the a little bit on this brush and I just kind of place it. where I'm dark, but then I don't blend it with the brush, I blend it with my finger. It's like a very matte concealer, but um, it's not cakey, unless you use too much. Um, I don't know, it's like, it feels very light on the skin, and it doesn't crease because of, because it dries down. Do you see the difference? less dark so I really like it it's not like the fullest coverage but I tend to not like the way that looks on me um, so I'll be honest with you I saw a uh, Kourtney Kardashian use this and and then I bought it okay now I'm gonna brush up my brows I really love my brows since I got them microbladed um, but I do have to get them touched up in a few weeks for my second appointment. And they're going to look even better. So here we go. Boy brow. First time using. Huge difference. Um, I just ordered the soap brows. You know that you guys have seen it, right? It's like a tin uh, called soap brows, and I think it's essentially soap. You like spray this stuff on it. You take a spoolie brush and you like 
brush it through your brows and it makes them like stay ev anywhere you put them so I've heard really good things I'm really excited to try it in case I want to like brush my brows up like really high that's kind of like a look you know not necessarily an everyday look for me but a look nonetheless Lara Mercier bronzer. They recently sent this to me and I tried it once the other day and I really liked it. It's the matte bronzing powder in the shade number one Soleil and it's a very very light bronzer. This is like one of the lightest I've ever seen and this is perfect for me because I'm very fair and often bronzer can look too dark on me. And another thing is this smells like the freaking beach. Like it smells like a pina colada or something. So really pleasant to use. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna, you know, bring a little color back into my skin. It's like really natural. So if you're fair, like very fair, have trouble with bronzer, check this one out. And for a little definition, I'm going to take the KKW Beauty Contour Stick in light one and just do like a little bit here just to like sharpen the cheekbones a little bit and buff it out with this Real Techniques brush. That's about as much as I like to contour anymore. Like I like to kind of keep it right back by the hairline because I don't know, it just looks more natural just to give a little bit of that like shadow back here rather than taking it like all the way in. I don't really love that anymore. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that concealer on my lids as a primer. Okay, so I definitely want something like peachy and matte. So I'm looking at, so the idea behind this is like day, these three are day, this is desk, and then this is date, and then dream. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm really gravitating towards desk and date. So I think I'm going to start off with this like really pale neutral color here on like a fluffy blending brush I'm gonna put that in the crease but in like kind of a messy fluffy way because I'm gonna go in with like a different color for like more definition and I'm gonna take I'm going to take that under the eye as well. And that's pretty so far. Now I'm going to take this color here, sorry, I'll show you the other way, um, of the de desk shades, this darkest one, and I'm going to take that in the crease again, but a bit more defined. Loving this so far. So now in the date trio, I'm going to take this middle shade here. It's kind of like a mocha brown. And I'm going to concentrate this on like the outer 
corner. Okay, and on a flat brush, I'm going to take that same color and just take it the tiniest bit on the lower lash line, but only about like a quarter of the way in. So fun! I haven't worn eyeshadow in a while. Okay, now I'm gonna take this darkest shade in the date trio. It's kind of like a plummy brown. And I'm gonna just use it as an eyeliner on the outer corner. Just create like a tiny little baby wing. I like this look because it helps to like, oh, focus. Um, it helps to like elongate the eye, make it a little bit more like feline-like without having like a full liquid liner situation. I think the shadow's done. I'm gonna curl my lashes because my lash lift that I got a few months ago finally wore off and now I need another one. But I don't feel like spending the money right now. So I'm back to curling. But it's just not the same. Hi, Rosie. I love when he sits and watches me do my makeup. Come say hi. Are you not the prettiest boy? My pretty boy. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to use my lash slick. I'm gonna skip lower lash mascara because I have some shadow on the bottom and I feel like that's enough. Eyes are done. I really love this kind of eyeshadow look, like the really like reddy browns. I knew I was gonna love this palette. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this Kylie Cosmetics shade in Fatty on the Block. Um, I was off powder blushes for a really, really long time, but I recently fell back in love with them. I'm still partial to cream blushes, but I'm just, you know, reappreciating a powder blush. And I like applying them in different areas than when I do cream. Like when I do cream, I do them like right on the apple. And when I'm doing powder, I'm kind of liking like up higher on the cheekbone here. It just kind of like lifts the face. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. So I'm just slowly building it right here. And then if you do too much blush, which I really like a lot of blush, but I just like use what you applied your foundation with and just kind of blend over it and it just helps to soften. And then sometimes go back in with some more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I feel like this look, because it's so matte, I need like a little bit of highlighter. So I'm gonna use this Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And I'm gonna use just this gold one here. And just a teeny amount. 
I wish this had a mirror. Just like on the highest point of the cheekbone. Just for a little bit of, just a, this tiny amount, see? A little gleam. I really do not like a lot of highlighter. Then we can like do a little nose action. A little above the cubist bow action. For lips, I'm gonna use uh, this Lara Mercier lip liner in Rosewood. Oh, my nose is dry and flaky, so I'm sorry. It's gross. Okay, and over top of that, I'm gonna use, I hope they still make this because I really love it. It's this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Zuma. It's like a powdery sheer stain. And I love it. So that's today's look. I really like it. I really like it with this like kind of monochromatic with this like neutral top, which look at this top, okay? It's two tone. There's cat hair on this side. These pearl buttons. This is from a little indie designer called Donnie and uh, I really love it. First time wearing it. Yeah, I mean, I really like this makeup. I'm not going anywhere today, but uh, you know, if I had to last minute dart out the door for something, I'm ready. Everything I use will be linked below if you guys want to check it out. I hope this was fun. I feel like I haven't sat down and like played with makeup with you guys in a while. So this was fun. I had a good time. My brows are back to normal. Oh my God, should I get like... I'm like, this is like the Gigi Hadid or something. Botox brow lift. No. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave me a comment and I'll see you in my next video.